Coming up, 2012 High Star Cup Golf Tournament held on July 15th. More than 900,000 people affected in Chinese rainstorms. Former tennis champion Zhang Depei came to Bay Area on July 16th. China's famous dating show "If You Are the One" will hold U.S. edition in Bay Area. China opposes U.S.-Taiwan official contacts. Sales of Apple's new iPad start in China on Friday. Fundraising event held for Fremont Mayor candidate Steve Chow. Hello, welcome to this edition of News of the Week. I'm Rui Zi in San Francisco. On July 15th, 2012 High Star Cup Golf Tournament was held in Monterey. Mayor of San Francisco, Mr. Edward Lee, Council General, Mr. Gao Zhansheng, attended the event and shared their opinions on the development of business and the relationship between U.S. and China. Let's take a look. On Sunday, July 15th, 2012 High Star Cup Golf Tournament was held at Private Pasadena Country Club in Monterey. Competitors are business elites from different fields gathering together at this championship Jack Nicklaus signature golf course for a full 18-hole game. Free guidance given by the High Castle Golf Club professional coach is provided for the game players before the tournament started. This event aims to provide a premium networking platform for Silicon Valley business leaders to exchange wisdom. In a relaxing outing, more than 100 people attended the tournament, and six media companies, both in English and Chinese, came to report the event. Mayor of San Francisco, Mr. Edwin Lee, also participated in the event and gave speech. Asian businesses, our Chinese businesses, are very prosperous and very successful in Silicon Valley. So for me, it was good to get out with them and know them and see what they're doing. And many of them have lived or still live in San Francisco. Uh, so they're also residents as well as、uh, good business people. Mr. Gao Zhansheng, Council General of People's Republic of China in San Francisco, attended the tournament and said that it has great significance in enhancing the relationship between the business partners from U.S. and China. Today, this tournament, through today we came to Zhuwei, ah, I can meet more international friends. This is for our president, our Guangzhou friends. 这个了解当地的情况，介绍中国的情况，为中美关系啊这合作发展，这个牵线搭桥啊，这个会很有意义。Ken Xie, who is the chairman of High Star 2012, said he is very happy to participate in this event. As the organizer, he would like to bring more opportunities for the business leaders from both U.S. and China to communicate and share their experience in the future. Huayuan is the Chinese Entrepreneur and Engineer Association. It's、uh, the biggest one in the Bay Area, even in the U.S. So we have、uh, over 6,000 active member. If we count the past member, probably over 20,000.、Uh, this year is our second time to host the annual golf tournament in Pasadena Club here.、Uh, the company I founded, the CEO right now, called the Fortinet.、Uh, in Chinese, called Feta. Uh, so we are the biggest uh, 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 overseas Chinese students as、uh, 留学生 founded the company,、uh, public company、uh, in the U.S. So、uh, business doing quite well. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. The report regarding the happiness of Beijingers was released at a conference held by the Beijing Municipal Commission on Population and Family Planning last week. ICN News has more. A new survey indicates that 56.4 percent Beijing citizens feel unhappy. The investigation was conducted from March to June by Professor Wu Jianzhong from Beijing Normal University. Of the participants aged between 20 and 79 from all 16 districts and counties in Beijing, only 0.08 percent felt extremely happy. 2.5 percent felt very happy. 22.8 percent felt happy, and 56.4 percent felt unhappy. The report showed that eight factors influenced the happiness to a large extent. There were income, living conditions, living environment, health, job, education, marital status, and sex life. In addition, the greatest psychological pressures and concerns for Beijing families came from food safety, economic conditions, fast-changing society, education, and natural disasters. Food safety tops the list because it is directly related to people's health. Age is also related to a general feeling of happiness, according to the report. Beijing citizens between 20 and 29 are the happiest group. 
will explain that people at this age are more ambitious about their careers and life, have confidence in themselves, and have hope for future. People in their 40s are under the greatest pressure from work, and people in their 50s worry most about their children's education, thus resulting in low levels of happiness. The report also shows that as age increases, happiness decreases. People in their 60s had their lowest ratings. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Heavy rain has poured on Hunan since last Wednesday. Areas including Jiangxi, Anhui, and Guizhou also affected by the heavy rain. The local government has sent food and water to the residents, and flood relief work is ongoing. ICN News has more. According to the provincial flood control and prevention headquarters, torrential rain last week affected about 750,000 people in central China's Hunan province. Heavy rain has poured on Hunan since last Wednesday. A total of 175 counties and townships in the province have been affected, leaving 410 houses collapsed and inundating 21,100 hectares of cropland. Meanwhile, the flood control and prevention headquarters. Of neighboring Jiangxi Province announced on Monday that, as of Sunday morning, 168,700 people have been affected by rainstorms sweeping central and north areas of Jiangxi. The extreme weather has also led to the collapse of 49 houses. In Anhui Province, authorities ordered the operators of more than 240 reservoirs to start discharging water on Monday to prevent them from overflowing, as the water levels of three major rivers in the areas have surpassed safe levels. In addition, homes in Kaiko Township in southwest China's Guizhou Province have been evacuated of more than 400 people as rainstorms swept the area, causing power outages and landslides on Monday morning. The local government has sent food and water to the residents, and flood relief work is ongoing. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Last Friday, two girls in Iowa were missing, and police are still searching for them currently. ICN News has the details. Police are still searching for two Iowa girls who went missing on Friday. Elizabeth Collins, eight, and her cousin Lyric Cook, ten, were last seen riding their bicycles in downtown Evansdale. The same day the girls disappeared, police found their bikes and a bag they were carrying on a trail near Myers Lake. Searches of the lake and the surrounding area have not found any clues. No Amber Alert was issued, as it is not clear whether the two were abducted. More than a thousand volunteers showed up to look for the girls on Sunday, and many are not giving up hope that they can still find them. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Last Saturday, the third annual Blocks Open House Car Show was held in Fremont at the Blocks Racing Facility. Let's take a look. The third annual Blocks Open House Car Show was held in Fremont on Saturday at the Blocks Racing Facility. The event featured custom cars from all around the Bay Area and was free for all to attend. An award show was held and gave out a variety of prizes to the best-looking cars in multiple categories. Sponsors and vendors were there for entertainment and demonstrations, and gourmet food trucks were also provided. By participating in games and raffles, attendees could make a donation to the Life Elder Care Program, which donates food through Meals on Wheels. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. On July 16th, Mr. Zhang Depei, who has won the Champion of French Open, was invited to San Francisco Bay Area by Prince of Peace Jensen. His wife and daughter also presented in the meeting. Let's take a look. On July 16th, Mr. Zhang Depei, who has won the Champion of French Open, was invited to San Francisco Bay Area by Prince of Peace Jensen. Mr. Zhang has been the spokesperson of Prince of Peace Jensen since 2005, and he has assisted the Prince of Peace Jensen to cooperate with well-known jelly beans agent. At the press conference, in addition to talking about his recent charity work, tennis, family, and faith, he shared his experience on how he found the shadow of his youth on Jeremy Lin. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. If you are the one, is the most popular dating show in mainland China. Recently, the organizer Jiangsu TV is cooperating with ICN TV Network to host a U.S. edition of If You Are the One. Young people are very excited about this event and applied for this program. ICN News has the details. On July 17th, applicants for the dating show named "If You're the One" got the video shot in ICN San Francisco. The selected applicants gathered together to share their experience and show their talents. <laughs> In 
In response to the request from the audience, the production team of If You're the One closely cooperated with foreign media to hold several overseas auditions, and it was well received in the public and business circle. In 2012, the production team decides to hold an overseas edition in America. In order to further enlarge its influence, If You're the One will work closely with ICN TV network to organize the U.S. edition. With the media resources and experience of ICN, it will sure be another successful overseas event. If you are interested in our upcoming show and want to be part of them, please go to our website fcwr.icntv.net or email your information to icnfcwr@yahoo.com. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. 欢迎来到江苏卫视，随心而悦，步步高，音乐手机，非诚勿扰。有请主持人孟非。If You Are the One American Edition is warmly welcomed by the local young people in Bay Area. After the news is released, hundreds of people applied for being one of the attendees. ICN San Francisco is going to launch a new program to introduce each participant every day. Promotion in U.S. region started in June and registration opened in July. The show production team from China will be here in October, and selected applicants will be invited to China for the show in November. U.S. version of the show will be broadcasted on Jiangsu TV, and it is expected to initiate another dating trend. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. According to a report published this week by Real Facts, a rental information service, Bay Area rents are hitting their highest level ever. ICN News has the details. Bay Area rents are hitting their highest level ever, according to a report published today by Real Facts, a rental information service. The report claims that the demand from an improving job market and the lingering hangover from the housing recession are driving the prices up. Rents have risen steadily since the second quarter of 2010 in the counties of Santa Clara, San Mateo, San Francisco, Alameda, and Contra Costa. Experts say that with the rising rent costs, the market will move quick, and the renters need to act quickly if they see a place they want. Yi Binghe, John Bergi, ICN, San Francisco. Thursday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Hong Lei held a press conference to state that China opposes official contacts and development of substantial relations between the United States and Taiwan. ICN News has more. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Hong Lei on Thursday said that China opposes official contacts and the development of substantial relations between the United States and Taiwan. He added that China's position is consistent and clear for U.S.-Taiwan relations. Hong made the remarks in response to the report that Don L. Macau, coordinator for international information programs of the U.S. State Department, had visited Taiwan recently. She had also met with senior Taiwan officials, including Taiwan leader Ma Ying-jeou. China urges the U.S. to adhere to the One China policy and the three sided U.S. joint communiques, said the spokesman. Hong said the U.S. side should address issues related to Taiwan appropriately and stop any form of official contacts with Taiwan, so as to avoid damaging the peaceful development of cross-strait relations and Sino-U.S. relations. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Zhou Xun, who is the Chinese actress and United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador, on Wednesday attended an event in Beijing wearing a mask during the news conference. Let's find out why. Chinese actress and United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador Zhou Xun attended an event on Wednesday in Beijing to promote a public service film for the international organization. Zhou, who was suffering from allergies, covered her face with a mask during the news conference to promote the five-minute video entitled "2032: The Future We Want." In it, she lists 32 ordinary Chinese to express their hopes for the next 20 years. We cannot make the world a better place until everyone in it feels like we are working to achieve their dreams, and we cannot really do that until we know what their dreams are. Joe was quoted as saying in a UNDP release, "I hope this video will inspire people to think about the future they want and what we need to do as individuals and as global family to make that future a reality." UN Secretary General Ban Ki Moon was also present at the event. He was in Beijing to attend the opening ceremony of the fifth ministerial meeting of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. 
Yibin He, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. On Thursday, Ford Motor Cooperation released that Ford is recalling over 11,000 new 2013 model Ford Escape SUVs due to risk of engine fire. ICN News has the details. Ford Motor Company said today it is recalling over 11,000 new 2013 model Ford Escape SUVs due to risk of engine fire. The company has also warned drivers to stop driving them immediately. Owners are advised to contact their local Ford dealers, where they will be given loaner vehicles until the Escapes are repaired. The 2013 model Escape became selling last month, and only the version with a 1.6-liter engine is being recalled. No injuries have been reported due to the issue at this time. Yi Bing He, John Bergy, ICN, San Francisco. A teenage boy was found dead in an internet cafe in southern Taiwan after he played video game for 40 hours, which might be the cause of cardiac arrest. Find out more. A teenage boy was found dead in an internet cafe in southern Taiwan after playing a video game for 40 hours straight over the weekend. The 18-year-old boy is said to have collapsed during a marathon session of Diablo 3 and is believed to have not eaten for two days. According to reports, an attendant entered the room and found him resting on a table. After the attendant woke him up, he stood then took a few steps and then collapsed. It has been speculated that the cause of the death was cardiac arrest. This was the second death from playing video games in the country this year. Yi Bing He, John Bergy, ICN, San Francisco. Apple launched the third generation of its iPad tablet on the Chinese mainland Friday. On July 20th, people queued up to buy the new iPad during its launch on the Chinese mainland at the flagship Apple store in Shanghai. Let's take a look. Sales of Apple's new iPad started Friday in China, utilizing a new online reservation system aimed at eliminating the chaos which marred the company's recent product launches. The Cupertino, California-based company said on July 10 in a statement that the new iPad with Wi-Fi are available in black or white for a suggested retail price of $499 for the 16GB model. Versions with more memory and cellular service will retail for as much as $829. Apple devices are extremely popular in China, and a 60 million U.S. dollar trademark settlement with technology company Proveo earlier this month paved the way for eager Chinese consumers to get their hands on the new tablet. The new system, which started yesterday, requires customers to reserve their new iPad on the company's website. Consumers pay at the store when they pick up the device. Yi Bing He, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. On July 20th, a gunman entered a Colorado theater and shot 50 people, killing at least 12. IC News has the details. A gunman entered through the emergency exit of a Colorado theater and shot 50 people, killing at least 12 at the midnight premiere of the new Batman movie this morning. The gunman, identified as James Holmes, wore a gas mask and flag jacket and threw gas canisters that clouded the room before opening fire on the crowd with a shotgun and automatic rifle. Police received multiple calls about the shooting and arrived within minutes to arrest Holmes. Warner Bros. Studio released a statement saying the studio is deeply saddened to learn about this shocking incident. The studio has canceled the red carpet premiere of The Dark Knight Rises in Paris. Yi Bing He, John Bergy, ICN, San Francisco. On July 19th, Mountain View residents filed an appeal to prevent fast food restaurant Chick-fil-A from opening a new location in their city. Find out the reason. Mountain View residents filed an appeal yesterday to prevent fast food restaurant Chick-fil-A from opening a new location in their city. This comes in response to the controversial remarks on gay marriage made by Chick-fil-A president Dan Cathy. Earlier this week, Cathy told a religious newspaper his fast food chain only supports a traditional marriage between a man and a woman. The Mountain View appeal claims that the drive through of the Chick-fil-A would be a traffic hazard. Community members say that if it was any other restaurant, they would have no problem. Yi Bing He, John Bergy, ICN, San Francisco. Now let's look at a group of news in brief. A New York City bus driver caught a seven-year-old girl who fell three stories out of building on Monday while returning home from his job at around 2 p.m. Stephen St. Bernard heard screams coming from a building courtyard. He rushed toward the noise and saw the girl standing on top of a third-floor window air conditioner. 
Police sources said the girl has autism, and her mother was inside the apartment watching her other child, so she didn't see the girl fall. Saint Bernard tore a tendon in his shoulder, but is expected to be okay. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. With Facebook's recent privacy concerns and unpopular changes such as timeline and switching every user's listed email address, its overall customer satisfaction has been steadily declining. Meanwhile, Google Plus has scored fairly high on the annual survey performed by the American Consumer Satisfaction Index. Facebook scored eight points out of a hundred lower than last year, with a rating of 61, putting it among the five lowest-rated companies measured by the index. Google Plus scored a 78, putting it above the average for social networks. Google's search engine was also rated and scored highest in its category, with 82 points. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Mark Zuckerberg recently refinanced his six million dollar home with a one percent interest rate mortgage loan. Mortgage rates are at a historical low, with the average interest rate of a 30-year fixed rate mortgage coming in at 3.5 percent on Monday. Zuckerberg was able to get an even lower rate because he's using an adjustable loan, where the percentage starts lower but can change over time. Because he is the world's 40th wealthiest person, Zuckerberg can buy the house and avoid having to pay more on his mortgage. Although most people cannot afford a loan like this, the market is much safer and more reasonable than it was five years ago. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. A Burger King employee was fired today after posting an image on the internet of his feet in the lettuce. The Ohio employee posted the image on the popular message board website 4chan anonymously, but some users were able to find the location that the picture was taken and inform the local media. Burger King director of global communications Bryson Thornton confirmed that the photo was taken at a Burger King location and clarified that. It was operated by a franchisee. He went on to say that food safety is the top priority at Burger King, and in cases like this, swift action is taken against the offending employee. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Film review website RottenTomatoes.com has suspended user comments on a film for the first time following fan reactions to a pair of negative reviews of The Dark Knight Rises on Monday. As of this morning, the reviews for the film have been mostly positive, but the poor reviews by film critics Marshall Fine and Christy Lamire have drawn the most attention by users of the site. In a post on the site, Rotten Tomatoes editor in chief explained that the threats and hate speech used in the comments were unnecessary for a film that has not even come out yet. He also noticed that the site may decide to end the practice of letting anonymous users comment on reviews or take away the comment function entirely. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. The 2012 Emmy Award nominees were announced today, and the lists for the Best Actor and Actress show that more big Hollywood names are moving to the small screen. Several Oscar winners are nominated, including Kevin Costner, Nicole Kidman, and Emma Thompson. Cable networks like HBO and Showtime are paying a lot of money for these big names, and it shows at the awards, with HBO having the most shows with nominations at the coming event. The Emmys will be held in Los Angeles on September 23rd with comedian Jimmy Kimmel as host. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. On Thursday, July 19th, a fundraising event was held for Fremont Mayor candidate Steve Cho in Fremont. The public is invited to visit with Steve as he shares his vision for Fremont, while also spending some time with Martin Yan, who is a famous chef. At the event, Steve Cho gave speeches and shared his opinion on how to improve the economy situation of Fremont. A lot of people don't know that Fremont is the size that we are, and I think the first thing is to raise the awareness among everyone in Fremont, and not just Fremont, but regionally, and, and nationally, and internationally. Because when Fremont is not on the radar screen for most companies that we want to come, they're not going to consider us. Lily May, who is the school board of Fremont, also participated in this event to support Steve and shared her opinion on contributing to the education of Fremont.、Um, one of the things that I feel is so important in these tough, challenging fiscal times right now is to get involved, and that means getting involved, whether it's in selecting who represents you in the city and the schools. I, I think it's important that you have someone who is passionate and dedicated and wants to be there. Catherine, as the host of the event, was very happy to have the public come and support Steve Chow. I'm so happy that Steve is the best qualified candidate for the mayor of Fremont. 
In this event, Chef Martin Yan did a live cooking demo, and a song named "Steve Chow for Mayor" was played by the singer, which won all the applause from the participants. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Forbes magazine has released a series of photos of the way that architects view the homes of the future. These speculative designs include eco-friendly ideas like solar and wind power and modern shapes. The houses are made in ways that seek to answer some of the problems that may come up in the future. With space and resources being a commodity in an ever-growing population, architects and urban planners believe that these designs will come into use when society needs them to. Yi Binghe, John Bergie, ICN, San Francisco. That's all for this edition of News of the Week. I'm Ruizi in San Francisco. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.